Well, hello everyone, here I'm with a happy throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Dimensions review, and this one's on the two uh, Powerpuff Girls Team Pack and Fun Pack from 2017. Yeah, 2017, of course. So on the front of each box, we which have the LEGO Dimensions logo and nice picture of of the minifigs together in action, and also the Flying above a uh, city of Townsville, of course, and have the age group, uh, amount of pieces, adds a team pack and fun pack, and a uh, set number. Have the components of each set, and also the Powerpuff Girls logos, of which newer style version since kind of for the newer reboot version of the show. But yeah, and then on top part, you have. A fun pack and team pack and the logos again but or I mean again in uh, French and Spanish of course and also Lego Dimension starter pack internet connection required for both of these of course and then the signs of which we would have uh, well for the team pack the same kind of picture but with and logos again but for the uh, but for this fun pack here, don't have any of that. Just the warnings. Of that. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And on the back sides, both of them, we would have some. Have, it says three and one, and also all the alternate builds that you can make with uh, both of these. And then also the uh, choking warnings, or usual warnings, TT Games logos, and. Also, the Adventure World and Ballerina of Dimension of both of these. But yeah. And then on to the little booklets, which kind of same build picture as the front flat parts of the boxes and everything. And then just like most all of those dimensions manuals, just got download the content and get instructions for the builds. And then advertising for most of the other uh, packs of, or fun packs from year two. And that one of which, and then this one, Knight Rider one, expect for next next throwback Thursday. And for most of the team packs there are, and then the story packs and the pieces included, and, and then uh, for the online survey, Fun pack also next next throwback Thursday. Okay. So now on to the mini things included with both sets. Those consisting of blossom, bubbles, and butter got which as Looking just about close to as as they were in the shows. Well, both versions of the show, of course. Like obviously, you do get some uh, kind of neat toe printing on them, representing the little shoes on both of them. And although these figs, of which which didn't stay exclusive to just these packs for long, well, until about like. A year later or so came in just a pair of sets based upon the new version of the show but however but these figs which can work are workable with both of that but yeah but whereas for the head pieces which just done okay which well captured their appearances and then and of course although as for the eye printing for blossoms of which does go right in near the bangs a bit, which quite well done for that, but 
kind of unusual, but although, however, it's still kind of workable for us. Even though, since it's animation, can uh, maybe it's kind of distinctively shaped, which kind of does with most other characters, like the Angry Birds theme and, and so on, but yeah. But as for the torso printings on both of them, uh, which quite simple with a black stripe across, but still works for that. And as for the back of parts of the, uh, which also quite simple as is, and however, as for the back part of Blossom's uh, back head bit to which, quite good for how it is, but yeah. And then Bubbles also there. And as for the base plate pieces, all the same, but just in their matching colors, but with different bits when saying zap there. Blossom is a witch. Pow. And then Buttercup is a witch. Bam. So I guess that is about it with the figs. First up with the build to which is the PPG smartphone. Well, smartphone version of it for this for the newer version of the show. So I guess most likely both just this and also the uh, bonnet part of it. And all resting on a cylinder and toy tank, uh, like all the builds in Dimen in Lego Dimensions, of course. Or on the backside, which just bricks stacked on bricks. For that, and also a little bit of a uh, curved uh, uh, slopes on all sides, and of course probably representing a charging base for it. But however, and also the as for this tile piece, which has the face uh, print on it, which well representing the original uh, version of it from the original series when it was in old style rotary phone which but however one of the side builds of this which does allow you to rebuild it into a old style rotary phone of it so you can rep so you can like represent the original version of that which good going for that good thinking of lego for that and what else is there uh, not much but yeah that's about it for that and now on to Octi. Although kind of a large size, but as compared to the bubbles here, and of course is usually like really small to, to her. But although in one of the sets that came out the following years, we did have that, but just on a Technic ball joint piece for that. But as for a side build, quite good right here. As you can see, plenty of uh, 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 darkish uh, pur lavender purple kind of coloring and, and also these uh, round dish pieces with the eyes on there and also down below do have some of those curved plates or hinge plates there that can turn in and outwards and also these hinges that go up and down which, so a good bit of articulation there and as for displaying it without the a toy tag base always oh, all comprised on that so kind of hard to do so although it does stand well with it but yeah and also do get a couple of builds on top representing a little top hat to them and of course have a couple of curved slopes on both sides to give it the curved effect to it which is kind of the only bit of snot in the this whole team pack for that. Along with the smartphone we'll build of which and of course the rest of it backside, just nothing but just bricks stacked on bricks with snot on both sides, and also one random sand green kind of plate in there. But at least it's kinda of well concealed, but yeah. Well most likely to work with the eye tiles, of course. And that is about it with Octi here. And now on to the uh, Mega Blast Bot, of course. Which I think is probably made up just for the packs here. But, However, from first glance, 
color scheme consisting of regular green, lime green, and black. Uh, which so is kind of their color scheme for how it is. And also do have a random little bit of gray and dark tan here for a uh, valve baton here. But also a couple of gr clear green studs on top, of course. Like the legs, which can surprise you mostly curved uh, slopes going on both ways, and also uh, a lot of knock techniques going on on the chest plate and to give it kind of a bulky effect with the curved plate slopes, and also a jumper in the center, and also it's not used for the arms, but with curved slopes on there and, and also clips for the hands like most mini robots tend to have as for the uh, head part just a technic uh, brick part with a cylinder attached to it of course and then the back side of which just hanging brackets but with one of which holding nothing to it but also with green studs on the back side representing thrust of course and on the back one Underneath of which is a couple of clear green studs again. But yeah. I guess that is about it there. To the final verdict. There's overall, I think these of which are quite good uh, team pack and fun pack that there is. And of course, this of which well carry on from the Adventure Time packs of there being some Cartoon Network properties for that. Would have been nice if there were some others to include, like obviously some of the very original ones like Johnny Bravo, Desert's Laboratory, and Many people's favorite, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and so on. But, but anyways, that was a little bit outdoor, but we're going off on a tangent. But as for these packs as well, which quite good for how they were, even though the figs in both of which didn't stay exclusive for long, but at least this was kind of a good, cheap way to get both of them. But also, as for in the game of which, Nice to get as well, and also to work in the Tea Titans Go uh, adventure world as well. But yeah, and although, although it would be nice if the uh, phone, if the phone build could have been the main uh, phone build from the original version, but even though that is kind of listed as an alternate model, although that could have worked as this main model as well. But whatever, even though this. Kind of represent the more newer version of it of the show but at least but of course the all these builds of which is still workable in both versions of the show but yeah and also kind of interesting how this was split into two packs well well in both a team pack and fun pack well although kind of sticking to the main theme of the dimensions packs but yeah although and although I think there could have been a couple more uh, packs as well, including Princess Warbox and so on, or whatever, well, maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. But at least, and of course, they get that in actual sense the year, the following year, of course. But these which can still kind of forgive how these turned out, but yeah. And of course, the uh, Buttercup Fun Pack, also a good uh, parts pack with both lime green and regular green, but yeah. And if you are still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.